Chris Hankster here, and welcome to another edition of Action Figures of the Living Dead. And today's episode, we're going to focus on a little collectible here that uh, no zombie or Living Dead uh, um, collection should be without. It is Return of the Living Dead Deluxe Action Figure Tar Man. Now, of course, if you remember, this is uh, the uh, zombie that was in the, one of the tanks in the original movie. Um, <laughs> and this, uh, this is, of course, the first Tar Man. There was actually three in the uh, complete series. Uh, there's, of course, been five movies. Um, this is the original Tar Man. It's, uh, don't get them confused with the other two from uh, Return of the Living Dead Part 2 or Part 5. Um, if you remember, this is uh, played by a uh, comedic mime named Alan Trotman, who uh, was hired because he was really skinny, and they wanted somebody to be really skinny so they could uh, have him fit in the costume. Because if you fit anybody in a costume, normally the costume bulks up. And basically they had to make him look like a skeleton, um, whose flesh is just dripping off. That's why he's the Tar Man, because when the tra tank was breached, the air got the fresh air went in there and basically just started melting and desiccating the the flesh until you see you get what you got here. So this is the original Tar Man, designed by um, designer William Stout, by the way. He was, of course, hired as the uh, head designer for the movie. He designed uh, most of the zombies and the uh, sets. Um, and this was his uh, piece de resistance as the Tar Man. And um, I'm going to take him out and set up the display, and let's see what it looks like out there. Okay, we got old Tar Man out of the uh, container, not the top, <laughs> not the tank. This the little, you know, the you know what I want to call it. <laughs> um, so we get a better look of the little setup here. Now uh, it does come with a base and the back, a little bit of a back thing here. They're separate here. You have to snap on together. Now, of course, if you see here, this is what Tar Man looked like in the tank or a facsimile, uh, before it was breached by um, Frank and and uh, Freddy at the beginning of the movie. And this is what he looks like. Out! Brains! <laughs> As you can see here, his uh, jaw can move up and down so you can have him talk a little bit. More brains! <laughs> his head can move a little bit. No, and... Uh, um, no, you can't remove the head, uh, even with a uh, Louisville slugger. Ah! His arms can move up and down. As you can see here, this moves a little bit better. Now, his legs don't move, but there is a little place you can put his uh, places you can put his uh, feet in, feet on, and um, this is one. Spooky motherfucker, <laughs> as uh, Spider would say about uh, suicide. And by the way, suicide was the one and only victim of the Tar Man. Um, when they went down to see why was Tina screaming, Tar Man had trapped, had got her trapped in a uh, in a, um, a little locker closet thing, and she locked herself in there so the Tar Man wouldn't get her. But uh, Tar Man's pretty clever. He uh, got a hold of a chain and a winch, tried to wrap the door open. He got the door open, but of course uh, the gang went down there, and uh, they, uh, of course, uh, suicide moved the curtain to the side, and there was Tarman, and um, Tarman had some lunch, <laughs> and it also comes with this. Uh, oh, look, there's a brain, a little removable brain there. Yum yum yum. Uh, <laughs> let's put that there in a little blood splot there, and uh, not a not too much of a bad setup here. Let's look at the back of him. See his 
see his backbone. You can see like his shoulder blade and stuff. Uh, pretty freaky character. I got him from uh, eBay. Out of a big, almost a big package. I bought from one person. I got a whole bunch of DVDs and. And then I also got a Freddy Krueger figure, so um, not too bad. And you can look at the top of his head. That's pretty much the only um, non-melted flesh you see here. That's the top of his head. That's not his skull. That's actually what was left of his head flesh. Ooh. But uh, he still gives me the woolies, but I still went ahead and got the figure. Hello. <laughs> So, uh, just check out, catch him online there, he's, he's been, he's floating around here, and on the internet, you can pick him up on eBay, and maybe even Amazon, and, uh, stay tuned here for more, uh, collectibles, action figures, and brains on the Multiverse. See ya. More brains.